This icy land has kept a secret for millions of years. Greenland, a name that paints images of meadows and forests, is in fact a frozen giant. It's really a breathtaking landscape. When you look out the window, you really get a sense of just how huge these glaciers are, these gigantic rivers of ice. Beneath its white silence lies a hidden world, untouched, unseen, and largely unknown. Rubies within these mountains have been here for billions of years, but it's only within the last five years that Greenland has started drilling for them on this scale. Mountains swallowed by glaciers, canyons darker than any night. Strange lakes are sealed in ice. This information is so valuable. Even the whispers of ancient forests and life forms trapped in time. Discovered plant fossils under ice in Greenland that is about a mile deep. But now, science has found a way in. And what lies beneath is rewriting what we know about Earth. This isn't just a discovery, it's an awakening. What we are doing here is uh, blasting uh, the rubies out of, of the ground uh, in a controlled manner. And then... Let's uncover what sleeps beneath the ice of Greenland. Greenland, the frozen colossus. Greenland is massive, so vast it defies imagination. Stretching over 1.34 million square miles, it's larger than all of Western Europe combined. Yet it feels like a ghost continent. Only about 56,000 people call it home, clinging to the ice-free coastal fringes in small settlements surrounded by towering cliffs and fjords. From space, Greenland is a white shield. 80% of its landmass is buried under an ice sheet up to three kilometers thick. That's taller than most mountains in Europe. The interior is a cold, high-altitude desert where snow never fully melts, layer upon layer becoming ancient ice. But the edges of this frozen land tell a different story. Green valleys, jagged coasts, and open waters emerge each summer. Towns like Nuuk, the capital, sit on these slivers of life, where milder temperatures allow fishing, boats, and human warmth. There are no roads connecting these scattered communities. You fly or sail, there's no other way. The ice in the center is simply too harsh, too vast, too untouched. It's the kind of place where nature has the final say. Despite its misleading name given by Eric the Red, a Viking who wanted to attract settlers, Greenland is anything but green. But once, long ago, it may have been. And that ancient truth, long buried under white silence, is what scientists are beginning to uncover. Ancient past, Greenland, before the ice. Long before the world turned cold, Greenland was not the frozen wasteland we know today. It was alive, covered in tundra, forest, and flowing rivers. Millions of years ago, during Earth's warmer eras, much of the island stood free of ice. Animals roamed its valleys. Plants are rooted deep in their soil. But then came the Great Chill. As the Cenozoic era drew to a close, Earth's climate shifted. Temperatures dropped. Glaciers began creeping across Greenland's highlands. By around 2.5 to 3 million years ago, the Great Ice Sheet had begun its reign, expanding with each freeze and growing thicker with every snowfall. Yet the ice didn't claim the land all at once. It advanced in cycles. Warm periods would partially melt it. Then colder centuries would rebuild it. Like a breathing giant, Greenland's ice expanded and retreated over time, shaping the land it buried. Then came a discovery that changed everything. Fossilized leaves, twigs, and ancient soil buried beneath over a mile of ice. Found during an old U.S. Army project called Camp Century, these remains were incredibly well-preserved, proof that Greenland was once green and alive. These fossils date back nearly a million years, to a time when the ice sheet melted enough to expose land. That glimpse into Greenland's green past shook scientists. It meant that the ice sheet, so vast and ancient, wasn't permanent. It had vanished before, and if it disappeared once, it could again. The question is, what did it leave behind when it came? What secrets were sealed under the first snowfall? Mapping the hidden world beneath. Beneath Greenland's thick armor of ice lies a secret landscape, vast, ancient, and astonishingly preserved. For centuries, it was invisible. Now, thanks to radar technology and satellite imaging, 
Scientists are seeing through the ice. What they've found is not a flat, frozen plain. It's a hidden Earth. One of the most jaw-dropping discoveries is a colossal canyon beneath the northern ice. It stretches 466 miles long and plunges to depths of nearly 875 yards. Carved by an ancient river system long before the ice took over, it rivals the Grand Canyon in size. Based on available data, the Great Gorge stretches for at least 750 kilometers. That's significantly longer than the Grand Canyon in the United States, which is 446 kilometers long. But unlike the canyons we know, this one has been trapped in total darkness for millennia, frozen in time. And that's just the beginning. Under the ice, Greenland hides mountain ranges, sunken valleys, and sharp ridge lines. Some peaks are so tall they almost pierce through the ice, their rocky tips visible at the surface, known locally as nun talks. Most others are buried so deeply they remain unseen, flattened under the ice's unimaginable weight. The ice isn't just resting on this landscape, it's reshaping it. With a weight of more than 2 million square miles of solid ice, the sheet has actually pressed the central land down. That's right, much of Greenland's bedrock now lies below sea level. If all the ice melted today, the island wouldn't just reveal rivers and valleys. It would become an archipelago, its sunken middle flooded by rising seas. And then there's the impact crater. In 2018, scientists announced a stunning find. A 19-mile-wide crater hidden beneath the ice in northwest Greenland. It likely came from a meteorite strike tens of thousands of years ago, one powerful enough to scar the Earth forever. Without the ice, we might never have preserved such a violent chapter of our planet's past. Each discovery beneath the ice tells us something profound. Greenland isn't just an icy shell. It's a buried continent, a museum of Earth's forgotten past, only now coming into view. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Subglacial lakes and secret ecosystems. In the darkness beneath Greenland's ice, something unexpected is stirring. Water. Scientists have discovered over 50 subglacial lakes trapped deep below the frozen surface. These lakes are hidden reservoirs, formed where geothermal heat melts the base of the ice, creating liquid pockets in an otherwise frozen world. The largest known subglacial lake lies nearly 875 yards beneath the ice and stretches for miles. These lakes aren't static. They appear and vanish as heat, pressure, and the movement of the ice sheet shift. It's a dynamic, secret system pulsing beneath the surface. But water is only part of the story. These dark lakes might also be alive. In the icy mud below the surface, scientists have found microbes locked in near dormancy for tens of thousands of years. When samples of ancient ice were melted, tiny bacteria sprang back to life, proving that even here, life finds a way. These microbes survive without sunlight, relying on chemosynthesis, extracting energy from minerals in the surrounding rock. Even more astonishing, ancient plant fragments, twigs, and leaves have been recovered beneath the ice, perfectly preserved. These weren't fossilized, but frozen, sealed away in nature's time capsule. They suggest that Greenland once supported forests, now buried beneath miles of ice. And while Greenland lacks the volcanic subglacial caves found in Antarctica, it does have geothermal hotspots. Scientists believe these warm regions could harbor undiscovered ecosystems, much like those hidden beneath Antarctic ice. In this sunless, frozen world, life clings to existence quiet, patient, and incredibly resilient. It's a reminder that even the harshest environments on Earth might not be empty. And if life can endure here, what might it mean for frozen worlds beyond our own? The ice is melting, present day transformation. Greenland's icy crown is melting, and it's happening faster than anyone imagined. In recent decades, the island has become a ground zero for climate change, with temperatures in the Arctic rising at twice the global average. The effects are visible, measurable, and impossible to ignore. In 2012, and again in 2019, satellites captured something extraordinary. 
melting at the summit of Greenland's ice sheet, over 10,000 feet above sea level. Then, in Twentymlau, it rained at the summit for the first time in recorded history. These aren't just strange weather events, they're climate alarms. Glaciers are thinning, the edges of the ice sheet are cracking and retreating. In some places, rivers of meltwater race across the surface, carving deep blue streams. That water eventually plunges down into moulins, vertical shafts in the ice, reaching the bedrock and lubricating the ice sheet's base, making it slide faster into the sea. Each year, Greenland loses between 250 and 300 billion tons of ice. That's enough to raise global sea levels by 0.7 to 1 millimeter annually. Since 1993, Greenland's melting has already added over half an inch to the world's oceans. But this is just the beginning. If all of Greenland's ice were to melt, a process that would take centuries, it could raise sea levels by 24 feet. Entire cities and nations would be underwater. What's more, scientists fear we're approaching a tipping point, a moment when the loss of ice becomes irreversible, even if emissions stop. The melting accelerates itself. Dark soot on the ice absorbs more sunlight. Warmer ocean currents undermine glaciers from below. Greenland is transforming. As the ice peels back, revealing ancient landscapes, it brings both hope and warning. The past is surfacing, but so is a future shaped by the choices we make today. Hidden Wealth – Greenland's Resources As Greenland's ice retreats, it's revealing more than just landscapes. It's uncovering resources that could reshape economies. Beneath the ancient rock and thawing ground lie vast deposits of minerals, many essential for modern technology. One of the most sought-after finds is rare earth elements, used in everything from smartphones to electric cars. In southern Greenland, a site known as Kvanafjeld contains one of the world's largest reserves of these metals. Alongside it, deposits of uranium, zinc, iron, and even gold have drawn international interest. Companies from China, Australia, and Europe have explored mining projects here, eager to tap into this geological jackpot. But Greenland's environment is fragile. Much of this mineral wealth lies in permafrost or under melting ice, making extraction risky and controversial. Offshore, the story continues. Beneath Greenland's seabed, scientists believe there could be reserves of oil and natural gas. Drilling projects in previous decades hinted at untapped energy fields, particularly along the west coast. But the extreme cold, ice conditions, and remoteness made large-scale operations nearly impossible until now. As the climate warms and ice-free seasons grow longer, some fear a rush to exploit Greenland's resources. But in 20, the Greenlandic government made a bold decision. It banned new oil exploration, citing climate concerns and a commitment to protect the environment. This move surprised the world, but it also sent a message. Greenland is not just a vault of hidden wealth. It's a land that must choose between economic gain and environmental responsibility. Still, the interest remains. Global powers are watching. As Arctic sea ice shrinks, new shipping routes may open past Greenland's shores, and the island's strategic location between North America and Europe makes it a key player in future geopolitical moves. The question is no longer whether Greenland has value, it's who will claim it and at what cost. Cold War Secrets and Sovereignty Greenland's icy silence once masked more than geology, it hid secrets of war and global power. During the Cold War, the United States built Thule Air Base in northwest Greenland, a strategic outpost for monitoring the Soviet Union and defending the West. But beneath the ice, something even more secret unfolded. In the 1960s, under a project known as Camp Century, the U.S. military constructed nuclear-powered tunnels beneath the ice. The hidden goal? Project Iceworm a plan to house and move nuclear missiles undetected beneath Greenland's ice sheet. It was never fully realized. The project was abandoned, but it proved how even the most remote corners of Earth could become battlegrounds for influence. Today, Greenland remains a self-governing territory within the Kingdom of Denmark, but the dream of full independence is growing. Its people elect their own parliament and manage most internal affairs, but Denmark still oversees defense and foreign policy. As Greenland's resources and strategic importance rise, 
the pressure to choose a path increases. Independence would mean full control, but also full responsibility. Right now, Denmark provides economic support, including an annual block grant that helps sustain Greenland's budget. Could Greenland survive without it? That depends on whether it can turn its newfound access through mining, fishing, and tourism into sustainable revenue. One thing is clear, the world is watching. Greenland, once just a distant icy outpost, now stands at the crossroads of sovereignty, power, and climate history. The path ahead, a greener Greenland? Greenland stands at a turning point. As its ice melts and ancient lands emerge, the island faces a future filled with possibility and uncertainty. For centuries, Greenland was frozen, remote, and often overlooked. But now, it's becoming central to conversations about climate change, global resources, and geopolitics. One path ahead leads to full independence. Many Greenlanders dream of breaking free from Denmark and managing their own affairs. With rising interest in mining, tourism, and strategic shipping routes, Greenland may soon have the means to stand alone. But economic independence comes with risk. The country still relies heavily on a block grant from Denmark and developing industries must be handled carefully to avoid harming the fragile Arctic environment. The other path continues along greater autonomy within the Kingdom of Denmark. This approach ensures stability while still allowing Greenland's leaders to pursue their own policies, such as their bold 2021 decision to ban new oil exploration for the sake of climate protection. Greenland's future won't be shaped by politics alone. The island's people, especially indigenous communities, hold deep knowledge of the land and sea. Their voices are becoming more central in shaping sustainable development, international negotiations, and conservation efforts. Whether Greenland becomes fully sovereign or remains under Denmark's umbrella, one thing is clear, the island is changing. It may become greener in both climate and opportunity, but with that comes responsibility, to protect, to lead, and to decide what kind of nation it will become. The world is watching, and beneath the surface, Greenland is no longer just a mystery. It's a mirror reflecting the planet's past and revealing a path to its future.